I'm excited to introduce orchestrating workflows for general applications built in partnership with Astronomer, taught by Kenton Dennis and Tamara Fingerlin. In this course, you build an automated RAG pipeline that ingests and processes text data, creates embeddings and stores the embeddings in a vector database, and a second pipeline to send queries to that vector database. When developing an application, you may start with a manual process to experiment and iterate on your ideas, say using a Jupyter Notebook or Python scripts. But to then move to production, the next level will be to automate the steps of your workflow or pipeline and let it be run based on the schedule or when new data comes in. This is usually done with the help of an orchestrator, which ensures that the steps are carried out in the correct order and also that the pipeline is triggered at the right time. When it comes to automating general applications, challenges like API rate limits or API outages or constantly changing tools can disrupt your pipeline. In this course, Tamron and Kenton will walk you through best practices for building reliable Gen AI pipelines and how you can orchestrate a RAG pipeline using Apache Airflow, which is an open source orchestration tool. Thanks, Andrew. You'll learn how to divide pipelines into atomic steps or tasks so it's easy to resume after an error, and how to configure the pipelines so tasks are reattempted upon failure. You'll also learn how to dynamically process chunks of data in parallel and make your pipeline respond to new data so your application can continuously evolve. You will do this using Airflow 3.0, which can easily integrate with any AI tool. You'll apply these principles to the RAG example you'll work on in this course. You'll start with a Jupyter Notebook containing a RAG prototype. Then you'll learn basic Airflow syntax and turn your prototype into an Airflow DAG. After that, you will incrementally add features to the pipeline to make it more dynamic and robust. I've often started prototyping in a Jupyter Notebook, then moved my code to a more automated workflows. I think you find the ideas in this course useful for planning and building your projects. I hope you enjoy the course.